Now it should work, I believe. <laughs> uh, we had could connect to Twitch, and so upgraded OBS because apparently that's a thing. And I'm online. That's great. Oh well, let's grab my controller. Yeah, the website is still loading. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so we can start. Pick up where we left yesterday. And yesterday we left at the part where Fina wasn't all that decided. And then during the night she left us. So we now have to go out and figure out what went wrong here. A little bit faint? Like what? If uh, audio is a little bit low, then turn your volume up. Because there's really nothing I can do. I'm on maximum volume ev with everything. Except for the game. I put the game a little bit down. And of course... We have to configure our controller again. I still want to know where I can set this to be the default. And of course I'm also suffering from these weird audio sync issues. But hey, what can you say, right? Yeah, but that's really all I can do. Um, because that's the maximum. I put a microphone boost on maximum and OBS Studio, unlike OBS Classic, does not allow you to boost your audio, microphone audio even more. That's simply not possible. And this is the maximum I get from my microphone. So what can I do? Oh, what a wonderful morning. Good morning, Justin. Slept well? <gasps> uh. Oh, I see. Hey, Justin, do you know where the wind comes from? Oh, I know where the wind comes from. This wind starts up in the, up in the hills and carries the calls of the birds through the forest. I thought a lot about the wind last night. If we could fly like the wind, would you see the things different? I didn't really understand that. I think she said something like, would you see the things differently than, than I, I do? I love the wind. I completely forgot that feeling. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, you helped me. You helped reminding me, Rala. Let us go, Justin. Where the wind comes from. Yo, oh, yeah, let us go, Fina. When do we go? Of course, now. Don't want to wait a single second. For the feeling. For the moment. I'm really happy this whole streaming thing works now. It was the first time I had that many issues connecting. Well, Mullen, did you find the last piece? Sadly, not yet, sir. Operation Yggdrasil can't continue until you have it. Find it, Mullen. Find it soon. Well, we now continue with a plan in the forest of the Dom Ruins. Success? Is a good thing. Yes, that may be. That we win something. I expect good news. Ah, let's see. Well, the first thing I'm probably going to do is uh, train my character up a little bit more. Get a sword level up, get a magic level up, and so on and so forth. I'm going to go to the dome ruins. Did anybody forgot something? First, we have to go through the Wrangle Hills south of New Palm. The dome ruins are in the desert over there. Great! On to the dome ruins. So, just in case, let me heal. 
and save the game once more. And then we will actually grind a couple of levels and once we've done that, we will go where we are supposed to go. Or at least I hope the game lets me do that. Because this is still a good place to uh, grind a couple of levels and I at least want to invest, let's say, 30 minutes or something like that, or 45, uh, to get my level up and running. So let's see if anything is grayed out. Nope. So we'll first go on the Meryl Street again, train a little bit. It's now becoming a little bit more difficult to train your uh, sword level because you have three characters. Which of course means that you're going to beat more enemies more quickly, which also means that you're going to level up a lot quicker. But that's not what I want, I want to level up my weapons. Pretty successful. Even Sue is already stronger than Fina. Yeah, she's only level 6. Ah, oh, that's not good. And her equipment seems to be really crappy. So let me have a look at that. Uh, what does she have? Yeah, that's not really proper equipment. Probably have to visit your palm first. I can't perform all that much magic because I only have eight, all right, we won. eight magic points, but it's still worth it, I think. At least wasting all the magic points that I have until I run out and then I can use my weapon again. But I really have the feeling that those guys are way too weak. We trained way too much. <laughs> so let's go back, uh, heal ourselves and then actually go to New Palm, see if we can buy some better equipment for Fina. And then move on to the next part where we can probably still train quite a lot. And then see if we can get those sweet skills, because those skills are really the thing that you want. Turtle. Actually, 
At least I hope they have some stronger enemies on those hills and maybe some save point that will also be nice. Because obviously the save point here in Fina's house is pretty damn far away from everything else. something. Everything is look here. Yeah, they add defense, but um, remove technique, and I think I have enough defense. Every teenager just enter enter the store and you sell them weapons. Actually, the thing that I'm missing right now is a place where I can drop some items. Because it just really has a lot of stuff here and I don't want to sell or use those uh, anti-dots. And I put quite a lot of uh, those things into a burrow as well. So that's a little bit annoying that we don't have anything like that. And there wasn't anything, uh, you know, that coffer thing uh, in Fina's house. But at least we upgraded her and we now have good equipment, which means we can move on. And hopefully get to the point where we can really claim that we have a strong character. <laughs> this is just great. It's generally the thing with those JRPGs. If you grind a lot, you will usually benefit from it. That's it. Yeah, and that's also, I believe, um, if you get to level 5 and 4, you will get uh, Thunder. So that's good, but uh, what we really have to figure, get our hands on is... I would have this Fire Sword skill, the 12-8. Thing. And after that, I will probably go for the 10 12 thing with the uh, mace and the axe. And then we should already have pretty much enough skills to make it till the end of the world. <laughs> Quite literally, the end of the world.
magic is leveling up really, really slow. I have to admit that. All right, we won. Yeah, look at that twelve. Using it two times. By the way, the reason why Sue never really becomes that much of a strong character is because she has a big fat malus on her XP. Right, she's like one level below Justin and already needs a heck of a lot more XP. Yeah, I know. No normally there are a couple of people joining in, but this time looks like nobody wanted to. But give it time, give it time. Those things are strong. Burn out. Did that just do? I actually have Sui Coden on my... Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I would have expected it to do. Because it looked like I have did a lot more damage last time. The problem with Sui Coden is I don't know Sui Coden as good as I know this game. Hey, uh, Raging Mayo, nice to see ya. You've been hired by who? Not by me. I think. <laughs> but welcome to the stream, and I hope you're going to enjoy it. We're playing Grandia, one of the best JRPGs ever made for PlayStation 1. And one of the overall enjoyable games. <laughs> Crap. Damn, their attacks actually produce a break. That's not nice. Especially since Sue always gets knocked out. Japanese RPGs is this is the stuff I grew up with actually. You know, I played Final Fantasy VIII, I played this. We didn't have that many games, so <laughs> one could say those are pretty much the only two JRPGs that we really played back in the days. Oh, let me see. You're not the biggest fan of this part uh, of the map because it's so big and you can easily miss something in here. Jesus H. Christ. Two magics still, so I have to watch out here. And that's going to hit two guys. I'm not killing anyone. Hey, 
Why do they always attack girls with those poison attacks? That's so mean. I like myself a good RPG from time to time. I have to admit that. Like I said, the good ones. There are a couple of RPGs that I don't like, but for example, stuff like Ease, my absolute favorite game series of all time. Let me have a look. So I'm right now on magic level two here. What I like is how those uh, levels will actually affect your um, overall skill. So grinding up your sword skill will, at least that's the way I understand it, will actually give you more magic points and more life while grinding up your axe will give you more strength and more initiative and stuff like that. So that, that's really nice because that give, gives you an extra bonus on your basic level grinding. Oh, competition in every game. Oh, trust me. We played World of Tanks earlier. Just All right, oh, we I won. great. Good stuff. Yeah, it's it always feels a little bit weird. It's also when you start to talk German on stream when you're constantly talking in English. Um That really takes a little bit getting used to. Because it always feels wrong, you know. Oh, Sherian! Nice to see you. You can see you there, because your name has the same color as uh, Raging Miles. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to do... I love this attack. <laughs> They're always attacking her. I just healed her 25 health. What the fuck, man? It's such a funny attack. The problem is that it will always only heal 25 health. So by the time you meet enemies that are stronger than that and do more damage than that, it's uh, pretty useless. But still a fun attack. Is there a gold nugget over there? Yeah, we can take over Twitch first. Take over Gokkong. I think Outstar might have a problem with that. <laughs> ah, crap. 
Oh, crap. They're both attacking her. I mean, why? Okay. That one wasn't actually attacking her. I'm streaming via capture card. I have an Ava Media Live Gamer Portable and I'm streaming this from my PlayStation 3. That's where this letterbox format comes from. That's the standard output format of a PlayStation what the PlayStation 3 produces on PlayStation 1 games. Oh, oh forget that. Start is really only the settings. have enough antidotes to heal them. Usually the enemies that will poison you will also drop antidotes from time to time. So what do we have here? This didn't look bad. He's SP while attacking. Make up there. There was a ring that healed my TP on on attacking. That would be pretty useful. Swoosh. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Yeah, those things are not all that useful. Because most of the time they are placed in areas where you can't see any uh, secret items or anything like that. It's a bit sad. You can actually defeat those guys really quickly. What a fish! But also not dropping all that much. I honestly don't know what he's saying there. There are a couple of parts in this game where I think they're not even talking English. Take that guy first because he's loading up a lot quicker. Uh, I still can't do a shockwave. Fuck me. And there's no magic points left. Which means, oh well, we have to attack.
Those guys are always going to attack her. No matter what we do. Whoa. Hey, Sigma 88, welcome right, to the game. What a finish, okay. I've been playing this game since I'm 12 or so, so for 14 years, and I haven't figured that out yet. But thanks for mentioning. Much appreciated. Maximum 2 SP, that's good. Nice. I don't think we left anything down there, oh, except for those enemies there. And I definitely want to kill all the enemies too. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know you're at the end, uh, probably a bit of a spoiler, but you know that you're at the end when you're in something that looks like a stomach. Then you're pretty damn close to the end. Here goes. <laughs> and by the way, may God have mercy on your soul if you forgot to grab. If you forgot to learn the very last skill, because that skill is pretty much mandatory for the final boss. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, Grandia 2 is pretty similar to this game, and I think I say this every time when I stream this, but Grandia 2 back in the days didn't get all that good reviews, and I think that's mainly because they didn't improve all that much over this game, which of course means there's nothing wrong with the second game, but in terms of gameplay, but um, obviously you always have to be sort of a little bit innovative at least, and they weren't. They even used the same audio files, or same audio for Grandia 2 as they used in Grandia 1, which is a little bit cheap. Ah, uh, well, uh, like I said, when you're in space, you're, uh, you're pretty close, but you're like in something that looks like the uh, guts of a human being. In the end. It's not the guts of a human being actually, but you are in something that looks like, you know, um <laughs> Oh, a mana egg. That's something we need. And yeah, like I said, when you're in there then you know that you're really, really close to the end. Because that's where you have to fight the final boss. <laughs> and not, not all the same audio, but uh, they reused some of the audio tracks and uh, resampled them. They made them a little bit faster, or played them in a different pitch. But they also had, of course, had some original audio as well. That's true. Character. I don't think there is a real final character in this game.
Yeah. When you're in that space part, that's that's relatively close, but there's still something to come. I actually forgot quite a lot. Like I said, I've played through this game two times. The first time I wasn't able to beat the final boss. Which was really unpleasant. But the second time I actually managed to beat this thing. And like I said, if you if you're not grinding levels and if you're not grinding the different weapons for Justin, which is the most important character, I think that's safe to say. The main character is the most important guy. If you don't have that final skill down there where you where we don't know how high the levels have to be, if you don't have that, you have a problem. Let's put it that way. The one that comes before is already pretty good. The one that you learn from a certain person that comes appears later in the game is also pretty good. But you really need this one final special attack to be able to beat the enemy without investing even more hours in grinding levels. Hey, I'm Monster Kokimon. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Oh no, Sharian, I'm not holding it against the developers of the second game, really. Um, I actually like Grandia 2. And I specifically like that they made a remaster of it. For PC. Yep, and she just suggested to put our camp here for the night. Uh, no, the game overall is not all that difficult, but the final boss really is. At least it was for me back in the days, but I was a teenager. I mean, yeah. I might not have done the level grinding that I should have done. But the final boss is... <sighs> he's really tough. So when I met you on the, on the steamboat, I never thought that we'd camp together. <laughs> that only comes from the fact that you did trust us. Yeah, but then only because Justice did a child. <laughs> she didn't have a real choice, right? Yeah, but... But now I know that I can trust in Justin. Just think about what he has done. Are you well, Sue? After such a, uh, such a big hiking trip, you have to be tired. Oh no, I am not tired at all. We're all adventurers, right? That's absolutely clear. Okay, okay. Uh, now she's asking how they lived in Parm. Yeah, this is, she's mentioning that Justin was a real brat. Pretty much like he is now. And uh, she asked Fina how she was as a kid. Those, those three are still kids, all of them. I think in the manual it mentions that I think Fina is like 14 and Justin is like 12 or something like that. Well, it's Japan. But yeah, Sigma, like I said, the, the game overall, it's pretty okay. If you came f as far as the space part, then you're probably good to go. But when I played this game, I was all only able to barely beat each boss at a time. Uh, and especially if you go over the, the end of the world and you were only able to beat Gatwin, for example. Just barely, just almost, and then you move on, then you're not able to beat the boss that come afterwards. And uh, that's the same with the final boss. If you're only able to barely beat the boss that comes before the final boss, then you know you're not ever going to beat that final boss. And that's something, yeah. Anyway, now Fina's mentioning that she had a big sister. That's quite important. But two years ago, she went into the military. And. Yeah, now she's asking Justin if they go to the dome ruins to see the artifacts of Angelo. And our yeah, he says our target is Alent, and the dome ruins are just the intermediate stop. And she doesn't know what Alent is. Yeah, and <laughs> until recently he didn't know it either, but it probably was the the capital of the Angelo. I think that's oh okay. Yeah, do you say that your sister is with the Garlyle tropes? Because we may saw several female soldiers when we were in the sword ruins. <laughs> All the girls were ugly and mean. No no way one of them could be Fina's sister. Yeah, those three were really mean. Those three were mean. They wanted to kill their children, okay?
Yeah, the one directly next to the blonde one was uh, beautiful and quiet. Yeah, she hopes that your sister's fine. And I think that should be it. Oh, come on! Yeah, behind the dome ruins is the, the yeah the mist forest probably in English, and after that is the end of the world. But where's the land? Yeah, <laughs> maybe just to the end of the world. Yeah, nobody ever returned from the mist forest, and you just just want to go to the end of the world. Yeah, the word impossible doesn't exist for adventurers. We can do this. Yep, we can do it. And that's it. Ah, fine. Yeah, the animations are really cute. I actually don't know how you managed to get through this game as a cakewalk, because, like I said, some of the boss battles, if you forgot to grind fully, then you're in all sorts of trouble. Uh, yeah, so cold and refreshing. Good morning, you two. What a wonderful morning. Yeah, Fina always wakes up very early. I used to be like that before I moved to Swabia. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it looks like you two still have something in front of you to become a real adventurer. Yeah, luck may be on our side today. That's the mist forest and the end of the world. I think we can actually see the end of the world. Should be a giant wall. Ooh, that's huge. Yep, but where's the end of the world? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that big, <coughs> excuse me, that big wall is the end of the world. Right, that's the end of the world. <laughs> so do you believe me now, that is the end of the world. Yeah, I have to go closer and have to see it by myself. Yeah, I don't think that our land waits for you in the forest, but that's what Justin thinks. <laughs> You're the first one who's totally excited to see the area. Yep. Our first target is the Woods. Also, let's save the game real quick, just in case. Could hit the second guy as well. Yeah, 
You regret that. I kind of hate that the enemies will always attack the weakest character. I think that's a little bit unfair. Just look if there's one additional skill with the with the sword that we can actually learn. Because I think most of the low level skills are mace and an axe. Yeah, there's only one with more magic. But we'll try to do that. Once we get to sword level 12, we will try to level up our mace to level 10 and then the axe to level 12. Yeah, I mean JRPGs, uh, they do have, they do have a weird difficulty. Let's put it that way, because, like I said, if you if you spend hours grinding, then you usually have the easiest game ever, right? Like I, I beat this Chang guy without really worrying about it. I didn't need any fancy items or anything like that. I just beat him with my normal attacks. But if you forget to grind then and you just rush through it, for example, you could avoid most of those enemies and just run through to the actual dome runes. If you do that, then you probably have a big issue. But for example, games like East and specifically East One, if you play on normal difficulty, that final boss, that's a monster boss. I can tell you that. If you play it on easy, it's quite okay, but if you play East on normal or any higher difficulty, then oh, that's just horrible. Probably the most difficult boss I've ever fought and beaten is the final boss in East One. Hey, it's my favorite JRPG, it's just that final boss. <laughs> he completely pissed me off. <laughs> but otherwise the game is great. Best JRPG ever made, East One. Hands down. Uh, most of them are pretty, actually, quite okay to beat. Uh, it becomes a pretty, a little bit weird in East 2 because East 2 does not have a level limit like East 1. On East, in East 1, you stop at level 10, and then it's just your equipment, and that's how the bosses are balanced against you. But in East 2, that's not quite the case. There, you can actually grind up levels for days if you want, 
and so the bosses have their own balancing and you always need magic for them. There's only one boss in East 2 and that's the, I think, the second or third part of the final boss where you can actually use physical attacks. Otherwise you always have to use magic because magic was the new big thing in East 2 compared to East 1. So everything had to be done with it. No, I never played Anima Gate of Memories, to be honest. But that doesn't look good for Fina. All right, we won. Mm, not in the version I played, Monster Cookie Moon. I played the GOG version, which is the PC port of the PSP version, if I remember correctly. I could beat that boss. He was a little bit weird, that's true. The only boss that could be broken in an East game, the final boss, would be the one in East Origins. At least uh, the underscores told me that um, when he played that guy, on the same difficulty I played on, he could actually kill him with one special attack. If that attack hit him, he would be instantly dead. When I played that guy, that didn't happen at all. Die before beating the boss? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Burnout. Hey, Sasha, nice to see you. How are you doing on this wonderful, wonderful Monday evening? Praise the Lord. Burnout. Oh, right. I think I remember. I probably have to watch my own stream again because I, I can't remember how I beat the final boss in East anymore. It's been quite a long time that I played uh, the East games. They were like my first full series that I did on stream. So it was indeed qu quite some time ago. My power. I think we'll be playing between play a couple of variety games, like just looked at some of the games. Metal Gear Solid came afterwards. Right, One to four. And then C12 Final Resistance, where I'm at a final level right now. And now this, <laughs> and some Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, which I will always stream at some point, because Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri is a great game. Let me see. I really don't want to miss out on any enemies that are around here. Now, oh, Warhammer 40k Soulstorm is an addictive game. All the, yeah, we used all of them. That's what you get from there. All right, we won. <laughs> I don't think I did that monster cookie mod, but I can't remember exactly. Damn, somebody could have told me back in the days, right? <laughs> uh, I'm 
there's some gold over there and another enemy. Yeah, I mean the Warhammer 40k strategy games are so great. They really are. I think the sword level should be on level 10 now, so there's only two more levels and then we have to find a way to heal ourselves and get some of our MP back. So that we can cast more magic and by casting more magic we can upgrade our magic level as well. I think that fire sword attack is not all that strong, but it's worth getting. Thanks for issuing the, issuing the host command, Sasha. And this underscores if you're still there, which I hope you are. Could you also issue the exclamation mark GOG command, because there you can find a way to support me without paying anything extra. Just click on my GOG affiliate link. Wait, let me do that myself. Oh, wait. Already issued it. <laughs> Just click on that link that uh, Moobot posted before and... You will be able to support me simply by buying games on GOG. I think that's the least obnoxious way to support somebody because really all you have to do is what you were going to do anyway. And that is buy games on GOG. No extra costs, no fees, no... Give me your, the soul of your firstborn. Everything is fine. Uh, wait, it's Zoo. So she can actually attack that guy. Just in can't. I honestly just want to avoid getting hit uh, by those poison attacks. Show. <laughs> so weird. Actually, let me look at the skills of the other guys. I only looked at Justin so far because he's the most important one, but yeah. She can only learn one additional skill and she can't make use of that uh, skill down there, or that seven maze skill um, without Without using the mace, I believe. Yeah, and he's level 10 on his sword. And after that, we're going to train uh, the mace because it gives us additional um, life points, and the axe gives us additional strength. So, all of that is good. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Yeah, great. Oh. Another item we missed. Just notice I'm carrying way too many items with me. that I could use. Um, yeah. Wait, is there an enemy over there? Yeah, there's an enemy over there. And I'm protecting some gold that I need. I'm really sorry if it's a little bit boring that I'm trying to kill all the enemies in here, but I still think that's the, the best way of playing this. So that I don't even have to worry about about not being able to beat a final boss. Phew, that was close. Yeah, I also have a lot of games on GOG and tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be the release day of Shadow Tactics. Sword of the Shogun, which is a squad-based uh, real-time strategy game, pretty much in the spirit of Commandos, and I played the demo of this game, and it was so great. I mean, the controls are a little bit iffy, but the game is so great, and it's made by a German development studio from Munich. So while I don't necessarily think that the game has to be from Germany for me to like it, it's a nice bonus. <laughs> Because I'm German. So let's go to those ruins and see if we actually have a safe point there. If we do, then we go back to the um, to the hills and train a little bit more. Oh, obviously we don't. Crap. Yeah, just said uh, blocked for or not permitted for members of the Adventurer League. Because it's too dangerous. That's not going to end good. Oh, holy shit! Did you just see that? Oh. And Sue's dead. Why is that guy not dead yet? Everyone okay? Holy shit. Yeah, 
Yes, and here I thought I trained too much. Oh wait, there's another one of those ends. Oh, come on. Oh, crap. Okay, guys, I'm probably going to die here. Why is this attack so strong? Why does it have such an incredible range? That attack will actually give me um, a fire attack against those guys. Here go. Which does a shit ton of damage, and that's good. Hip hip hooray! <laughs> God. I'll probably just skip my plan on training the sword up at this point and use the axe because the axe has a bonus against plants. <laughs> yeah. That would be pretty funny indeed. But yeah, she's just spraying out arrows like that, but at least they have a fire ability, so that's good. Even though now I believe I should be able to um, do more damage to them. That actually used up all her SP. The problem really is that um, Ah, you mean instead of using those items? Yeah, I could have done that probably. But I didn't really think all that much about it. Well, let me go back. Should actually going back if I can, then I could probably also restock on some other supplies. Let's do that. That's a good idea. See, that's the thing you never think about when you're streaming this.
Yeah, you can't quite see how far the range of your... ...of your attack is, that's true. Also need one more magic. Let me see. Before we go with this first. Didn't Golden Sun two come out for Game Boy Advance? I think there were, were, were some games that that were. Mentioned to be like uh, that, that had his name, but I can't remember correctly. I only know there were some really expensive uh, games that are sold as collector's items for Game Boy Advance. At least at a similar name. Let's go back and actually use those um, trees to train a little bit because I really want to bring up that fire skill. <laughs> I think I have this axe with me. What a fish. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's that's a shame. Okay, so he's trying to perform an attack that I oh, don't know Brian. yet. Doesn't sound good. Hmm. 
really good that I have this axe. What a finch. So, we arrived at the ruins. Those are the dome ruins, Justin. Yeah, when it was, was it the last time, there were soldiers of Gala everywhere and I couldn't go in. So that's the first time I actually enter the ruins. Yeah, she doesn't know what's going to happen. Okay, okay, let us go. Blobs. They give quite a lot of money, so that's good. Hey, Arxena, nice to see you. How are you doing on this very beautiful Monday evening? And of course, we can't reach that. Oops. Laura well, probably shouldn't have dropped down here. Sand divers. Whip doesn't quite cut it. At least not against those guys. What a finch. Our plans to take over Twitch and start by taking over Gokom are not all that secret anymore, I suppose. This is great, actually.
direction. This could be a great area to actually grind some levels if there were more enemies around. Sue is about to level up soon as well. So, did we miss anything out here? No, there is the border. Oh, there, a little bit of gold. Sorry, sorry, I didn't want to stop talking anyway, but I was just a little bit confused about where to go and what to do. Anyways, those orcs were pretty strong in the slow rules, but they're not so strong anymore. <laughs> Like the first set of orcs that you meet, they're, they're pretty tough. But those guys, no, they're not match for me anymore. Oh come on, leave her alone. And just as I'm saying that, they're probably going to kill Sue. They didn't. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Yeah, I'll pick it up. Which, in general, is the most ridiculous hat that you can wear. Got those guys, and we probably have to go back to the safe point and heal ourselves again, and save the game again because why not? Sue lost quite a bit of health there. That's the thing that I always find annoying about Sue, that she has really low SP and no matter how much, how good her equipment is, she will always be pretty damn weak. And that's a huge problem with that character. But she does have quite a bit of attack power. I give her that. And the highest range. Those things look pretty scary. Ouch! And yeah, by the way, if you're wondering, that stuff does damage to you. Actually, it's Prussian. <laughs> that guy's dead. Oh, no, he isn't. Dang it. 
Yeah, what was the text, Sue? All right, we won. Nice. Training up your levels against these weak enemies is pretty cumbersome. Oh crap. I actually didn't want to go in there. Wait, we go back because I want to check out the other side first. And then go back, heal ourselves and I'll probably save the game again. Or at least we're going to heal ourselves. So let me, let me see. I think we should be good enough to make it through these ruins. You want to learn a new skill? <laughs> Can't help it. Twelve and ten. That's still so many levels. I'm only level six with my axe. And the game says I have to be level twelve with that thing, and then level ten with the maze, and then I'm going to learn a new skill. That guy's only defending and going to attack him. Honestly, in Raging Mario, I have no clue. <laughs> As you can, be sure, you can be sure, I haven't used a printer in two years. So I really can't tell. Good night, Isanda Squares. Thanks for being here. Ah, look over there. Can't even see the bottom. And of course the whole thing is going to be a labyrinth. Let's 
first go out here and see what we have there. Ghosts. Good night, Reggie Mario. Thanks for being here. Burn out. Okay, so physical attacks don't do anything against those guys. All right, we won. We still have enough magic to kill them. Pressing. chance to level up our fire magic. Let's see if there was actually any reason to be here, except for finding that one item in the middle. not a big fan of these labyrinths because I tend to get lost a lot in levels like that. There are always secrets in the dungeons, but admittedly you don't have to find them necessarily and yeah. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of those labyrinths. They're like completely annoying for no good reason. Oh, 
Also, now that I'm out of the forest, I could probably also equip my sword again and continue with my quest on getting that fire skill with my sword. And once we have that, we can still <clears throat> continue uh, grinding the axe and the mace to get that other skill. I think in terms of pure strength, I'm already at a good point. At least... The enemies don't seem to cause any major troubles, except for those who are immune to physical attacks. For all the others, I can't really see the big issue here. So, let me see. Does that thing reveal not much? Let's first go to the right. See what I have here. A bit of gold. And a couple of enemies. shockwave skill as well because it's still loading really slow and I had a feeling that I could use that thing at some point. She got quite a huge boost in her strength there. Plus three. Most of the time it's just plus two, so that's a good thing. So let's see. More enemies over here. Necessary. 
Ouch. That hurt. That's how you do that. All right, we won. Plus twenty and level up. Ah, no additional SP. That makes me sad. Before we use that elevator, we are going to explore as much of this dungeon as we can. I believe it's still level 10, isn't it? Let me see. Uh, technique. And it's still level 10, yeah. Once that thing reaches level 12, I will drop the sword and go back to my... Okay. So there was still another place that we haven't visited yet. And we still have to visit the other side uh, of the elevator we were previously in. And once we got through all of that, we can actually use the elevator to get back up again. At least that's the plan. And hopefully we'll also find a safe point at some point some point because I think at the next save point I would probably call it a day but that really depends on when it will appear I will not stop in the middle of the dungeon and then uh, do all of that again you avoided my attack what an asshole Three of them. That's good stuff. Pretty easy, right? Uh -huh. 
I really wish I had more more magic points because then I could use a lot more magic than I can now. But I've completely forgot how to up upgrade that. Okay. Just look for a cheap way to heal her. Nice. And sword got a level up. So now it's level 11. And then we just have to grind up one more and then we can continue with axe and mace. gets us back out again so let's go back we still have another way to go I want to check out and hopefully it will also drop me a safe point at, at some point in here because I'm really getting a little bit tired and being able to do myself and save would be just perfect The only one who just saw that. Hmm. Okay, so that's going to heal our magic points. And yes, it's called a blue pill. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take the blue pill. Oh, now that's looking better. That was a weird bug, wasn't it? Let me go back on that cliff and check that out before we use that elevator there. Because maybe we can actually find something there as well. But the, I mean, the arrow points pretty strongly in that direction, so that's probably where we have to go for the story. But we'll see. We'll see. Crap. see where that brings us. Um, okay. I rather don't want to stand on there. That was a mean trap. Come on. Lift 
to explore what we could. And down. Oh great, there's a safe point. So let me see, for whoever is still there, um, before I leave I actually want to see if I, we can raid some other streamer. Because that's what we do on here. Toxicoid is streaming, so why not rate her? Toxicoid is a really nice streamer, and I think she's doing creative stuff right now. So, please do that. And otherwise, I wish you a pleasant night and hopefully a good Tuesday and a good rest of the week. So see ya probably tomorrow if I can squeeze it in. Depends on my work schedule, how much I have to do tomorrow. But if I can, I will continue with Grandia and try to get through the game or at least as much as I can before the Christmas holidays. Because during the Christmas holidays I won't be able to stream. Anyway, good night and bye bye.